Breaking news is that of San Joaquin County sheriffs are investigating a deputy involved shooting. It happened early this morning on Tornell Circle that is in the town of Ripon. KCRA 3's Kristen Samos joins us live now from the scene with all of the details. And Kristen, what do you know this morning? Well, Leticia, we just moved a little bit closer to the scene. We're on South Manly Road here, and this is Tornell Circle behind me. And you can see there an ambulance and several police and uh, sheriff vehicles there, as well as a house behind uh, where the ambulance is parked. Now, we are not uh, sure yet. Investigators are not telling us if that house or this neighborhood, how they are all involved in this case. What we are told is that this began around 3 o'clock this morning with a 911 call that came in to Modesto at Sisk Road in Modesto. When deputies uh, arrived on scene, there was a female driver who uh, who refused to pull over and then led them on a pursuit that ended here in Ripon, which is in San Joaquin County. Now, the Stanislaus County deputy that uh, was involved in this, uh, of course, that beginning in San in Stanislaus County, rather ending here in San Joaquin County, uh, those shots were fired at 3:20 a.m., so just 20 minutes after this pursuit began. Uh, uh, and here's what the deputies have to say. The driver of the vehicle is a female. Um, emergency medical services arrived. Life-saving measures were performed, but the female was pronounced deceased here at the scene. Um, the officer is okay. Now, we're told that that deputy uh, will be put on routine paid administrative leave and uh, will be interviewed as part of this investigation, which is just beginning now. And again, it's involving San Joaquin County District Attorney's Office, the Stanislaus County Sheriff's Department, and Ripon Police, Ripon Police being the lead agency. Now, they are not releasing at this time uh, what the nature of that original 911 call was, uh, nor are they releasing the name of the suspect or the deputies involved, but we are told following this investigation, which is expected to last uh, a good part of the day today. They will be releasing that information. Reporting live in Ripon, Kristen Samos, KCRA 3 News.